might have enjoyed watching the world's greatest fishing show with Mark Zona as I did. You also might have heard that that show's going away. Well, Dan Kimball and I recently caught up with Zona, and he told us all about his new project. The new fishing show is uh, actually, we, we uh, left ESPN and, uh, and went to the Outdoor Channel. And it's named Zona's Awesome Fishing Show. It's another extremely modest title show. My whole plan somewhere in fishing, and I told Jerry McInnes this, I'd actually like to eventually be like Prince and just be a symbol where I don't even have a name anymore. You know what I mean? That's not too arrogant, is it? Oh, I love yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But, you know, we're, we're excited. The one thing that I really wanted, because I, I, I've heard it a lot, and I believe it, is um, we're still going to have shows on the weekends, on the mornings and stuff like that. But one of the key things that I wanted for 2011 is I wanted a nighttime slot, and they actually gave us uh, 8 o'clock on Friday nights Eastern, which that to me was was critical. It's going to be the same knucklehead goofball show, but the one thing that that, that I wanted to do this next season is we have to to uh, slightly mature a little bit or, or not, one of the two, um, but give more information on how we're catching them. There was so many, you know, what's weird is it's awesome doing – touchdown dances and happy Gilmore stuff. But eventually when you catch a, a, a five pound smallmouth or a 10 pound bass, you need to eventually say what the heck you caught it on. Um, and there were certain times throughout the year I would catch, we would high five each other and let it go and be the end of the show. And I thought, well, hell, we never told anybody what we used. Uh, so that's one of the things I think we'll, we, we have brought on um, some of the best companies in, in, in the fishing industry. And look, man, I've always said this. I'm not a hard seller. I don't go, hey, I've got a Pepsi right here, zero calorie. That's not me. That's dorky. Well, I am a dork, but that, that I don't do that on TV. But I still need to some way, shape, or form inform the viewer of what the heck we just did, how we caught them. Oh, got to have regulars. Got to have KVD, Jeff Creep, the Greg Hackneys of the world, just because, you know, you see them as robots on the Elite Series because that's their job but you get to see them be what they really are. And that's one thing I take for granted is those guys, they're the best anglers on earth, and they've given me so much. But I also want, you know, the, the folks that watch the show to see that, you know, they're not that robotic. They're actually dorky human beings like all of us that make mistakes every five minutes of their life. Real people, you know, and they are. Um, but that's the one thing is just to – and the one thing that I've always said about – from World's Greatest Fishing Show, the Zona's Awesome Fishing Show, it's so hard to say that, that's <laughs> so dorky, um, is it's always going to be real. Will we sneak out to a private lake? Maybe once a year. But what I always wanted was the person that goes bass fishing, that has one day off a week, that usually the wind blows 40 miles an hour and it's 20 degrees, we're going to go. We're going to tape a show. Because it's not like this all the time. You know, and you, and this is not a slam towards other fishing shows, um, but it's not 80 and calm every time right. we go out. It's never. It's like that once a year. So that's the one thing that I always want. I always want it. If it's brutal, we're going to tape a show. If we got to take her in the ditch and the fishing sucks, I'm going to be honest and you're going to hear it. Um, but we'll catch them too. When World's Greatest started, somebody put a script in front of me and it had an outline of what the show was supposed to look like. And I remember looking at them and saying... Why don't we do it like Seinfeld? No direction, no script. And, and that's where I will really give, give them credit because they looked at me and said, um, okay, let's give that a try. And that's terrifying for, for, for them to risk on that. But the thing about bass fishing or any kind of fishing to me is we all have a game plan when we go out, but it never goes that way. There's always audibles being called. That's why it's fishing. Fishing is constantly changing. And, and that's how I wanted that show to be, as honest as a regular day if you and I went bass fishing, you know, tomorrow. We've got an idea what's going to happen. Very rarely does it work out that way. 